In this video, I'm showing you how to take a screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy A54. And at the very end, I'm gonna show you how to print from your phone. Let's get into it. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. Today I wanna to show you how to take a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy A54. And stay tuned to the end. Again, I'm gonna show you how to print from your phone. So let's get right into it. Now there's a few different ways to take screenshots, but the easiest way in my opinion is simply holding down on the power and the volume down button and holding it for one second, just like this. One, two, three, hold, let it go. You'll see the screen flash. You'll get this menu pop up for about two seconds and then it will go away. Let's try it one more time. Power, volume down, hold, let it go. It'll flash. Now tap on this button here. This is gonna allow you to crop the picture that you've just taken. So maybe you're taking a screenshot and you only want to get the bottom of the screen here, or you can crop it down just like that. You can also tap on this pen here and you can make any specific markings or draw arrows to specific things. And when you're done, you can either tap on this button to share the uh, picture with like your email or send it in a text message, or simply tap on the drop down arrow to download the picture to the phone. And then when you swipe up and go to your gallery, you'll find that picture in your screenshots folder, just like that. Okay, now that's the first thing. Now there's another really cool thing I wanna show you when you take a screenshot, which most people don't know. Watch this. Okay, I'm gonna swipe down from the top of the screen. I'm gonna do a screenshot again, but watch what I do this time. Once I screenshot in the bottom right corner, you're gonna see a little T that's gonna pop up right here. Make sure you tap on that T. It's gonna allow you to basically select all of the text on the screen and copy it, which is really a really cool tip. So watch this, power, volume down, hold, let it go. There's the T, tap on the T. Now when you tap that, it'll make all the text on the screen selectable. So guess what? Maybe you're taking a screenshot because you just wanna save the information on an email or on a web page. Well, what if you could just simply hold down and select the text and just highlight it, copy it, and then you can simply paste it into a text message or into your notes or in an email. This really takes it to the next level. So anything that you screenshot, you don't necessarily have to take the image, just tap on that T, it makes all the text selectable, and then you can simply save it where you need to or send it wherever you need to send it. So that's just another layer on top of screenshotting. And the last thing I talked about, which is how to print. So printing is super easy. Now you can print from a few different screens. Now the main apps you can print from are Google Chrome, Gmail, and your gallery right here. So a picture, a web page, an email. Those are kind of the main three things that you can print. So let me show you first how to do it from a web page. We're gonna tap on Google Chrome. Let's say I'd like to send someone, I wanna print this page that has information on this phone, the A54. I'm simply gonna tap on this, um, excuse me, at the top of the screen, tap on the three dots, come all the way down to share, and from here, if you swipe to the left, you're gonna have a printer all the way to the end. Tap on print. It's gonna open up the print menu screen. At the top of the screen, it'll say select printer. You'll tap on the drop down right here in the upper right corner. And here's my printer, the Epson ET2760, which is a great printer by the way. Tap on that. And then you can tap on this button to start the print or initiate the print. Now, I will leave a link below in the description of this printer and a few other really great printers. As a point of reference, Epson printers are great and almost all of them, when you set them up with Wi-Fi, they automatically are ready to sync with your phone when you hit print, as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network. It's super easy. So. Um, that's how you print from a web page. 
Now next, let's talk about how you print a picture. So swipe up, tap on the gallery. Let's say I wanna print this screenshot that I just took. I'm going to tap on the three dots in the bottom right corner. And there's a print button in this menu. Let's tap on print. I'm gonna again tap on select printer and tap on the Epson. And then it'll show the yellow button in this corner. Just give it a few seconds. We're gonna tap on that yellow button and that's going to send that photo to print. In this case, the app is trying to load the picture first before we can send it to the printer. So it just wants to show you a preview of the picture. Um, and once it shows a preview, then that yellow button pops up. You can then tap it just like that. And tapping that will then initiate it to go and print. Now lastly, I wanna show you how to print from an email, which is super easy. We're gonna tap on uh, our folder here, go to Gmail. Now I already have an email open ready to print. All you need to do, what do you think I'm gonna say? Tap on the three dots in the upper right corner, right here, it's always the three dots. Come all the way down to print. And then select the printer, as usual, Epson ET2760. Hit the yellow button here, and it's gonna send right to your printer. And that's it. So, hope you guys found this helpful. Obviously, I know most of you guys came here because you just wanted to learn how to screenshot, but I just figured if you're screenshotting something on your phone, there's a good chance that you may want to print that thing as well, and so I thought it would be helpful to include that at the end of the video. So if you stayed this long, thank you for hanging around. I hope that this extra information was helpful. If you haven't already done so, please hit that like button down below. It really helps the channel to grow and it helps this video to reach more people and help more people and that's what we're here to do so please do that for me um, if you're not already a race subscriber hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos take care and as always have a good one